Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here with uh, a true story that I've had, um, I'm not too proud of, and it has to do with, um, specifically it's DMT. I uh, took uh, DMT just about, maybe like two years ago, and uh, this was way before um, the third eye and the uh, transdimensional, you know, experiences and uh, astral projection type of things and, you know, the experiences. I recently just, you know, like about a few months ago, I went online, I looked around and I uh, googled DMT and stuff like that. I didn't know nothing about it, you know, I didn't know nothing about uh, the history of it, that's what it is. But I, uh, I recently have the, the, um, an experience of DMT. And I've uh, also tried some other things too, but DMT specifically, um, it's all real true story. It's a real interesting experience that I had. Um, a lot of people talk about uh, that they see strange things like uh, almost like perfectly symmetrical individuals, aliens, or glass-like. Uh, perfectly symmetrical people or whatever you know I, I'm just trying to get, get myself collected because uh, I had my experience with EMT and uh, it was uh, it was quite an experience this is way before like I said way before I knew about of uh, you know third eye opening and how substances can help you uh, uh, do astral projections and other things like that and experience and things like that communication with other beings of other universe I took the, the the substance and uh, um, it was with a group of friends we all tried to do it um, it was on a weekend and uh, we usually do some other things we're drinking too and uh, it was just lit at night and my friend just surprised us with this stuff and you know we we're all drunk and we tried everything else I don't do that I don't, do, I don't live that lifestyle no more I don't live a lifestyle no more like that. I do drink once in a while, but I don't do other things like that no more. Not anymore. He brought it out, and since we're, we were drunk and all that, we decided to take a chance because we're all together. And the social setting, being with your friends, you want to uh, experience something together. You know, because you just like, you know, the hell with it. When we're together, you know, um, we're aging. We're all in our late twenties at that time, or thirties or whatever, uh, or, or, or at least early thirties. And we're all like, you know, it's just we want to just take a chance to say the hell with it, let's do it. And so we did it. And my experience with it was uh, very interesting. It was a, uh, at first it was a, uh, for me at least, it was something that creeped up on me. When I first took DMT, it wasn't, um, it wasn't anything that was. Uh, Fast. It was something that creeped up. It was kind of like, like, like the other drugs. It, it kind of took time, you know. Um, now that I think about it, it probably took maybe like 20 minutes or something like that, 20 or 15 minutes for it to really kind of, kind of get in me. And from my experience, even sitting in the living room with my friends, we we're like all drunk, drunk as hell. And uh, all of a sudden, um, from my experience. The, there was lamps and lights in the ceiling and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, the lights started to get kind of like more bright. Bright, bright, bright. You know, like how you would uh, brighten up the lights in um, when you would use a movie editor or like uh, the movie, movie maker from uh, Windows. How you would like brighten the lighting, it would become brighter, it brightens up any parts. The light, the first thing that happened was the light started to get more bright. And then um, I started to feel physically more like it was kind of like a strange feeling. It wasn't anything that I could pinpoint on. It was more like a, like relaxing, kind of like uh, almost like a painkiller kind of sensation. It kind of, it, what it did was, was that it heightened my drunkenness. My uh, already I was really drunk, but it made me feel like I was on a big uh, painkiller. Like I took like three or four painkillers at once, or something like that. And um, and as time passed, it took a little bit more time.
But I started to, it was kind of similar to weed a little bit. I started to kind of become a little bit, um, started to think a little bit, a little bit too much. Um, slowly, um, the room, you know, the whole room was kind of like this room. It was all white. It was a living room. And the whole room started to kind of, uh, even though there were shadows and everything, and there was a TV set in front of us, we were sitting on a couch, it was a small living room. The whole, the whole thing started to kind of, uh, the whole color scheme started to kind of become one. Like it was like you couldn't, like it was all becoming white or something. Like it's hard to, you know, like there was color, the carpet was brown and all that. But for some reason, for me, the, the white of the wall started to uh, consume my peripheral and my uh, primary vision. And it was just starting to... It, it was starting to become uh, like all white or something. Like it was just like, like I, it was basically almost like being blind, almost colorblind. And it was uh, very slow. And I didn't exactly have any visions of uh, entities, but I did because it was such, such a long time. I did have uh, like a sense of like. Like there was some, uh, the, the TV set kind of seemed like it was like melting or something like that. It was becoming like, uh, dematerializing or something. It was, it was very, very, uh, I, I wasn't scared because I think I was amongst my friends, but it was like melting, like anything that was a table or something, it kind of seemed like it was like softening, like it was bending or bowing. It was a very strange thing, like. Um, it seemed like almost everything that I was looking at, it was becoming softened, kind of like becoming more warped or like more soft or like clay or something else, hard like wax or something like that. And and, and the lighting again, it was more, um, it was uh, it was still bright, it was still very, it was becoming more magnified, and it was old light bulb, so it was like a yellow, a bright yellow, and. Uh, Actually, uh, I think it was like I don't know, 30, 35 minutes into the drugs, I started to uh, re I started having trouble recognizing if my friends were there. It was almost as if like like my friends were um, becoming invisible or something like that. It was a very strange experience. It was like it was almost as if like my friends were. Uh, I don't know, like they, they, they were disappearing or something like that. It was a, it was a very strange thing. It was almost as if I was like, I was losing vision, but I was still seeing. Um, was in front of me. It was, it was just a very strange experience. Uh, uh, like other people on YouTube, you look at their videos and they say that they see entities and people, or like strange things. But I didn't witness anything like that. It was more emotional. Um, I think it was probably because the alcohol kind of deterred my ability to really witness um, uh, um, the DMT's full uh, strength and uh, seeing or uh, witnessing a trans-dimensional experience, like spiritual kind of thing. I don't know what was what it was, but it was just um, it was almost like like yeah, like acid. Almost for me it was. I don't know how it was for everyone else, for everyone else. But the thing is, those that have to say that DMT is not something that I recommend anyone do. It is it is just as bad as uh, as all of the drugs. It's just as bad as crystal and all the other crystal meth and, and acid and all the other stuff. Don't don't take it, man. Um, now that I look back on it, I kind of feel like. It was very strange because I didn't exactly trip. I didn't have a bad trip. Uh, it was like I was amongst my friends. They were they were there, but they weren't there. They're were becoming invisible or whatever. But like uh, I was relaxed and I, I just knew how to handle it basically because back then, uh, two years ago, we were hanging out all the time, drinking and doing drugs all the time, and that's that was my lifestyle. So I was able to handle um, those experiences better because we're doing it every weekend. And that's why I think I, was, I, I handled the DMT better. But that was my experience with DMT. 
but uh, now that I uh, uh, I've learned about psychokinesis and other things like that, you don't need to do DMT to do to witness spirituality or to uh, astral project yourself and travel through dimensions of space and time. You need to meditate and get into the zone of yourself because you are your own manipulation. You are your own manipulator. You know, you have the power to do to do anything you want to do. Drugs are just a placebo. You know, um, you look at a beer bottle or you look at a bottle of uh, painkillers, and what it is that it starts when you see it, it starts up here first, and then when you take it, it's a second step. It's self manipulation. It's all yourself. It's all you. You know, it's all. This, you know, you're the one that, that makes the alcohol make you drunk. You're the one that makes the alcohol make you become drunk. You're the one that makes the weed and DMT um, trip you out. You're the one that has the power to control what you take. And, uh, and we have the power to actually project without taking any substance. We have the power to do that. We don't need to take drugs. And uh, after watching Trevor Seven and going to YouTube and all that stuff and thinking of my own theories, that's the truth. Man. That's the truth. You, know, you don't need to take drugs to be able to trip out and see different things. Life is mundane. Life is very straightforward. It's boring. Boring sometimes. But that's that's just the way it is. And life will get better. You will get better. And uh, life will be more interesting and more fun. Believe me, telekinesis, psychosis will take us there, man. We don't need to take any substances or alcohol or nothing like that. In the future, we don't need to do nothing like this. Nothing but ornaments and carrying crystals. And uh, that was my DMT experience. I'm sorry if it wasn't interesting enough. But, uh, you know, man, just hang in there. Have faith. The world will change. Things will get better. Life will be better. And I think that things will get better in the four, uh, four years. Things will get better, definitely. In four years, things will drastically accelerate. And so will our psychokinesis psych, psych abilities. And our faith in our humanity. Things will get better. As weak as this, but is. That's my DMT experience. And uh, it's not fantastic, but it's real. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, man. God bless and keep on. Working on your magic powers, man. They're real. Believe. Bye, man. Take care.